Your next hike to Piestoa Peak may have an extra hike included. We're talking about the hike from your car to the trailhead. Construction work that started this week means that there's even less space to park. Spencer Blake walks us through the project at Piestoa Peak Park. Peaceful views of Piestoa Peak are interrupted by jarring sounds of jackhammers. Construction at the trailhead has been going on since last year, but the latest improvement phase has the parking lots at the Navajo and Summit trails closed until next summer. There were five or six empty spaces in the lot itself when we actually got here, which was about 1130. But get here at other times of the day and you might not be that lucky. This whole area right here was completely full and then up there was completely full too, so I just said the heck with it. And went home and went to the gym instead. Here along Squaw Peak Road is where you first start to see cars parked along the side of the road, but you're not even close to the trailhead yet. Look how far away it is, how long of a drive it takes to get up to this spot. And once we got to this point, obviously there's no parking behind these fences here. The trailheads themselves though, still open to hikers. We asked people who live right next to the park what they thought about the lack of parking. There'll probably be more cars on the street here. Is that something that bothers you if there's more cars on the street? Um, it, it doesn't bother me too much. Only when they park in front of our driveway and, and leave litter or trash, that, that kind of bothers us. Saturdays and Sundays will be even harder to find a parking spot because it's illegal along this stretch of the neighborhood. What are now two different lots at the trailheads will be connected into one by mid-2019. But it's going to be nice when it's done. That's what I think, yeah. The city says your best bet in the meantime will be to use Dreamy Draw Park and the 32nd Street Trailhead. In Phoenix, Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.